Hi friends, today I am going to teach you regarding the high data form mole. So before starting the discussion on the mole, first of all you should be familiar with the products of conception. So I would like to request you to see the first video regarding the products of conception that was posted by few days by me. So what is the normal products of conception? It contains the chorionic villi and in the villi there will be presence of capillaries then fetal macrophages and the fibroblasts that will be surrounded by the trophoblast and surrounding that there can be presence of syncytiotrophoblast so that is regarding the normal chorionic villi now what happen in the high datiform mole in such high datiform mole you can able to see the hydropic villi the villi will be hydropic they will swollen that is not normal seen in products of conception so in that way you can differentiate the product of conception and the high data form mole now this mole can be divided into the two type it can be the partial mole or it can be the complete mole so let's the let's see the important features of the partial high data form mole so in this form of mole the fetus is usually present uh, that's why you can able to see the fetal parts you can able to see the some normal villi and some villi are the hydropic so there will be heterogeneity in the villi uh, some villi are very large and some are very small you can able to see some form of scalloping in the villi by the trophoblastic proliferation the trophoblastic invagination can produce scalloping in such mole cysts can be seen so there will be mild trophoblastic hyperplasia it is not marked the markedly trophoblastic hyperplasia is always a feature of complete mole uh, there will be polar trophoblastic proliferation that is important point the trophoblastic proliferation is localized it is the polar at the particular area it is not surround the whole villi if you able to see the trophoblastic proliferation surrounding the whole villi it's a complete mole Uh, there will be definitely presence of more hemorrhage because the fetal is present and you can able to see the nucleated rbcs the nucleated red blood cells can be seen because fetal parts are present in this mole so that are the features of partial mole now you have to um, now we will see the complete mole so which are the important features of complete mole exactly opposite here the trophoblastic proliferation is markedly markedly increase uh, there will be diffuse villus enlargement almost uh, 80 to 90% percent villi are the diffuse hydropic so there will be diffuse hydropic change in almost all villi the marked hydropic change can be seen uh, there will be presence of some form of atp now why this atp is seen because there will be presence of more intermediate trophoblast and syncytial trophoblast in complete mole and you might be familiar that uh, intermediate trophoblast is having the atypical features so that's why atp is seen uh, there were the vessels were definitely absent because here the fetal parts is not at all present so in the villi you will not be able to see the nucleated rbcs or any vessel so that's a very important feature now almost all villi i are hydropically so the hydropic change hydropically swollen so there will be gross appearance of grape like clusters i mean it seem like grapes so that's the important gross feature and definitely there will be presence of more intermediate and syncytial trophoblast the intermediate trophoblast usually never seen in partial hydrity form mole so now let's start the discussion of the today's case uh, we have received the grape like clusters uh, specimen uh, this was the specimen that was received as an vesicular mole and you can able to see the grape like clusters of the swollen villi so these are the grape like cluster water filled structures the grape like cluster this all are the grape like cluster you can able to see that almost all uh, products of conception was hydropically swollen grape like changes are present in almost all structure the whole specimen is showing such changes so that was a gross finding
this vesicle can be varying the size from 1 to 30 millimeters. So as we have discussed, you can able to see the swollen hydropic villi. Now if you, if you might remember that uh, in the products of conception, the villi are not such hydropic. I just see this villi, this all villi are very much hydropic. They are showing the hydropic chain, markedly hydropic change is seen, diffuse hydropic chain. So the almost all villi were showing the hydropic change in our case. And sometimes uh, there might be present of central systems uh, that might be formed due to the broken strands of fibrinal materials. So uh, that was the cistern in the central cavity. The cistern can be seen. And sometimes the trophoblastic hyperplasia can produce the invagination as well. Usually this is a feature of partial mold but here in the some well I uh, it was present. So uh, that was the invagination produced by the trophoblastic proliferation. Now kindly make uh, note the one important chant that uh, blood vessel is totally absent. The blood vessels are not seen in this hydropic villi. If nucleated herbaceous and blood vessels sealed then you have to think about the partial mole. You, this is the case of early complete mole that's why uh, we are not able to see the circumferential uh, trophoblastic proliferation. Uh, usually what happened in the advanced complete mall that uh, uh, there is a presence of cytotrophoblastic cell all around this villi. But here it was not because this was, this was the case of early complete mole, early complete hydratiform mall. So this is again you can able to see the hydropic villi with the cistern. Now there will be markedly increase in the cytotrophoblast in the complete mole. So just see these cells. Can you able to identify which are the cells? Yes, you are right. Uh, these all are the cytotrophoblast having the clear cytoplasm, centrally placed nucleus and the clear cytoplasm. This is the cytotrophoblast. The all cells are cytotrophoblast. If you move forward, uh, you can able to see the certain syncytiotrophoblast as well. These are the multinucleated syncytiotrophoblast. So that were the marked cytotrophoblast proliferation was present. Now you can see that some of the cells showing the atypical feature. Just see this cell; it is enlarged. Uh, there were present. Uh, there were few areas were present that were showing uh, atypical features so that were the intermediate trophoblast that can be seen in this complete hydratiform mole sometimes trophoblastic invagination can be seen as we have discussed so there was presence of invagination at places and this is a cross up here this complete hydratiform mole are usually formed due to the abnormal gametogenesis and the fertilization. So this was the case of uh, complete mole. And yeah, one important point, how cytotrophoblast looks like, morphology. So as we have discussed, the cytoplasm is clear or eosinophilic. And there is presence of single centrally placed vesicular nucleus. And it and they all are the small round cells. The cells are small round mononuclear cells with a distinct cell border. So that was regarding the complete hydratiform mole. So in short, I would like to say that uh, you have to differentiate the complete mole from the partial mole by the presence of markedly increased uh, trophoblastic cells, means trophoblastic hyperplasia, and by the Hydropic change in almost all villi and the fetal part is always absent. So that's the diagnostic main criteria, main diagnostic criteria of the complete hydratiform mole. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of hydratiform mole whenever you encounter such case. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.